What's going on guys, today I want to show you how to get started with Power BI and create your own dashboard from nothing but an Excel file in just a few minutes. This guide will largely be based on a written guide provided by Microsoft, which I'll link in the description, with a few small tweaks to make it more beginner friendly. So let's get into it, shall we? So first up, we need to get the data. It just so happens that we're using the sample data set within Power BI for this, but we want to practice getting the data ourselves. There's a link to download the file in the guide, so let's click that and download the financial sample workbook. From there, in Power BI, click Get Data, Excel, and open the file that you've just downloaded. At this point, you should see this navigator window, which lets us preview our data. Let's select the financials table. If you're happy with the data, click Load. But there are a few transformations we can make to make this data even better. So let's click Transform Data here. OK, so now we have this Power Query Editor window, which allows us to make changes to our data before creating any visuals. You'll see that the unit sold column contains some decimal values, which isn't correct. We can select the unit sold column, then on the Data Type drop down, select Whole Number. This will remove all of the decimal places from our values. Next, we have the Segment column which we would like to be uppercase. To do this, select the Transform tab, then on the Format drop-down, choose Uppercase. This will change all our values to be in capitals. Finally, over to the right, the column Month Name would be better just being the word Month. Let's double-click the name to edit it, remove the word Name, and press Enter to save the change. You'll see that all of our changes are listed in the Applied Steps area on the right-hand side. But we're happy with these, so let's click the Home tab, then click Close and Apply to save our changes and leave this window. OK, let's get into some visuals, and we'll start by adding a title. Click Insert, then Text Box to add one. Let's call this Executive Summary Finance Report. Make it size 20, make it bold, and then resize the box so that all of the title fits on one line. Next, let's create a line chart to show profits by month and year. Drag the profit column onto the canvas. Power BI will see that it's a numerical column and create a bar chart for you. Let's also drag the date column onto that same visual. You'll see that the profit is now split by year. On the axis view, let's remove quarter and day. To also show month, we need to click the expand one level button in the top right of the visual. Now this x-axis doesn't look great with the values crushed together. So on the right hand side, click the roller icon. Then under x-axis, deselect concatenate labels. Finally, in the visuals pane, we want to click the line chart icon to turn this into a line chart. Now let's also move this visual to a more suitable area on the canvas. Next, Let's create a map showing which countries are performing best. If we take the country column, Power BI recognises that this contains country values and will create a map for us. If we then drag profit onto that map, we'll get bubbles that are bigger for higher profit values, which is perfect for us. For our final visual, we want to view sales by product and segment. Click a blank area of the canvas so that no visual is selected. Then select the Sales, Product, and Segment fields. Because we've selected two dimension columns, Power BI has automatically created a clustered column chart. Rearrange the three visuals that we've got so that they're stacked roughly like so, with some space on the left hand side. We now want to create a slicer so that we can filter the report by year and month. Drag the date column into the space that we made on the left hand side. Then select the slicer visual. As before, let's remove quarter and day. Then expand the years. And resize the slicer so that it fits down the left hand side. This allows us to now filter the report by any month of our choosing, or indeed any year of our choosing we'll see that the dashboard automatically updates whenever we select anything on here. And that is pretty much it. You can spruce up the report in various ways by going to View, 
and choosing from the many themes that are available, or heading into the format sections of your visuals. Here's one that I made in two or three minutes just by doing this. Hopefully you've learned something from this guide and even been inspired to get started with Power BI yourself. Let me know what you plan to do with your new skills and I'll see you next time. <laughs>